Hey everyone, I'm Mike, and I've been doing CrossFit since about 2014. Been doing the CrossFit linchpin uh, track here at home since about uh, 2019. I was lucky I got most of my gear before the pandemic hit, so I'm pretty well stocked. And let me give you a little tour of my garage gym. So this is my space, it's a two car garage. I have a uh, pretty low ceilings, so I can't do anything overhead out here in this area. I've got just a tiny section uh, right near the doors with some space where I can get overhead. On the floor, I've got the horse stall mats like everybody else, and I tape them together using Gorilla Tape to keep the seams clean. I live here in the Pacific Northwest and everything's always wet and dirty and muddy, so I'm trying to keep the crud to a minimum. On this side, I've got my GHD. I'm terrible at GHD sit-ups, but I do the hip and back extensions all the time. And then I did this wall in plywood, so I've got space for handstand push-ups or to do exercises up against the, the wall there, you know, wall walks. Uh, my barbells, I've got a training bar for my daughter who's 15, who sometimes works out with me. And then I mostly use the Rogue, um, I think it's the 2.0, bar. Uh, it seems great. I've got a nice Alico lifting bar um, that nobody's really using at the moment. And um, I've got a treadmill. Full disclosure, I work for Precor, so get a pretty sweet deal on Precor treadmills. My daughter wanted to run on the treadmill, so I was able to pick that up for her recently and added that to the collection. I've also got the assault bike and the Concept 2 rower, which I keep stored over here. Normally, I park one car in the garage on this bay on this side, and so I back that out when I'm gonna work out if I want the extra space. Uh, I just like to have a lot of room to move around for some reason, so I, I normally do back that out. And then over in the corner, I've got a little storage shelf where I keep all my junk. Uh, full set of plates here, enough uh, bumper plates for two people to work out together. Set of dumbbells from about 10 to 50 pounds. Kettlebells uh, from about eight up to 53 pounds, and then the usual medicine balls and ab mat, foam rollers, and so forth. Got a pair of parallettes so I can practice my L sits. My newest addition to the room here, the CrossFit Lynchpin Banner. Got a, a flat bench in case by, um, you know bench press ever comes up, but uh, I, it never does. Crossover symmetry, which I've just got attached to the wall here. I've got it on these little eye hooks that are um, put into the stud. That works really well for me. And there's one up high and then one down low so you can you know, move it between the two positions. Uh, trying to do a lot of shoulder work, keep my shoulders healthy. A few of the extra heavy dumbbells over here. Got a little poster from the whiteboard daily guys, which I think is pretty cool. This is my reminder about the burden or warm up because we do that so often. I like to have a little visual so it'll help me walk my way through that. For squat stands, I've just got these, these cheap sort of independent stands. I don't like these. I don't think I would recommend these. Uh, I don't really have a great space for a bigger squat stand. I, I guess maybe I could get one of those kinds that folds up against the wall and put it over here. But I bought these when I first got started and they do the job, but they're not my favorite. And then I've got a couple of boxes, 20 and 24 inches. I like these stacking kind here, especially when my daughter joins me for workouts. She likes to use a 20 inch box. So I've got both of those options. And then, um, you know, just keep my junk in a little old set of drawers over here, uh, knee sleeves and that kind of thing, all the extra CrossFit shoes that you might need. And then, you know, it's just a regular garage space. So I've got regular garage stuff over here against the walls for storage. And then in this area here where there is a little bit of extra ceiling height, I've got my pull-up bar set up uh, so I can do pull-ups. It's not quite able to get enough headroom for muscle ups, which is unfortunate. I've got the rings there hanging from the uh, strap hanger in the ceiling. That works out really well, but again, unfortunately, there's just not enough head clearance for muscle ups. Uh, either you bang your head into this front wall here, or you hit your head at the top of the ceiling. So I can't do muscle ups, I'm just doing low ring muscle ups in here these days. And then you can see that's my wall ball, wall ball target, which isn't quite 10 feet. Uh, I just don't have the ceiling height for 10 feet, so I go to 9 feet, and it seems to be good enough. So I hope you enjoyed my tour, and I'm loving Lynchpin Track. Thanks, guys.